Hi guys, it's t time for part one of my Japanese Bonds to the End of Time booster box opening, which was your choice for my Japanese booster box opening for January of 2013. Uh, if you don't know about this, uh, definitely go back and check out my recent videos. Um, for every month for the rest of the year, I'm going to be hosting a uh, special vote to allow you to choose what booster box you'd like me to open for my collection. I've got tons of stuff from 4th gen, um, and it's all, you know, the kind of Japanese boxes that haven't been opened a whole lot, at least for the most part. This might be one of the more popular ones. Uh, some of them I've never even seen opened on YouTube, so uh, I will be posting videos uh, once every month so that you'll have a chance to vote. And this is the vote winner for um, for January. So this is the uh, Japanese uh, set that uh, spurned Rising Rivals in English. And there's tons of great stuff in this box, so let's get cracking on it. You can see it's kind of beat up on the corner, but as long as the cards on the inside are okay, that's what matters to me. Oh, very loud plastic wrap. Uh, you will notice some boxes from some of my recent openings in the background. I've got uh, Reshiram and Zekrom promo boxes here. Uh, Clash of the Summit, Plasma Gale, Thunder Knuckle, and Spiral Force. I think those are all up on my channel somewhere. Um, so, just a quick look at the box. Uh, I got the little Pokemon card game with some uh, some figures and some Pokemon on the side. Uh, I got a Raichu and a Quagsire here. Uh, in the front, and a uh, very uh, astute user pointed out the first edition symbol is actually right there. It just hides very well. Uh, Luxray, and I think this is Frostlass. And then uh, Machamp and uh, Aerodactyl. So, uh, this is going to be opened in two parts. So we're going to do ten packs per part. And I believe there is a hollow and two rares in every pack. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully I get the uh, the card trick right and don't spoil anything huge out of the gate. So, set this back a little bit, show the pack art off. It's pretty loaded, it's pretty nice. I'm a fan. Cool. Alright, let's, uh, let's get into this. I'm excited to be opening a booster box too, because I haven't really opened anything since um, Spiral Force and Thunder Knuckle, and I had opened all those boxes before uh, Christmas, I believe. I'm going to have to open these packs a little bit closer. So I think the first card is the hollow, and then the next two are the two rares. But I might be completely wrong, so let's see what happens. Alright, we have Aaron, Growlithe, uh, Nidorina, yeah, Nidorina, Weedle, Sharpedo, Aerodactyl, Tropius, and a Grass Energy. Okay, rare number one is a Flareon. Awesome, a great way to start. Cool looking card. Rare number two of this pack is a Gastrodon East Sea. Yeah, I think East Sea is the blue one and the pink one is West Sea. So that is cool as well. And my Hollow is a Shiftry Hollow. Very cool. It's definitely not the uh, the same kind of um, Hollow effect that they have in the new uh, in the new sets, but uh, some players prefer this as well. So. It's always nice that they're willing to uh, to try new stuff. I'm just realizing we're almost four minutes in. I've opened one pack. I gotta speed it up. All right, Nuzleaf, uh, Trepinch, Growlithe, Nidoran, female. I can really never tell the difference between the purple and the blue. Um, the the cards look just too similar. I think this is the uh, the metal energy with the text on it that gives your metal Pokemon resistance. Uh, Machamp, Laron, and uh, Fire Energy. So, rare number one is a Wall Rain. This is really nice art, actually. Very cool. Rare number two. Oh, nice! This is a reprint Pikachu! I'd heard that these were in this set. Look at the sparkle on that. That's awesome. Really cool. This is uh, 88 out of 90, as you can see right there. Awesome. Second pack, and I already got a reprint Pikachu. Awesome. Very, very pleased to have this. I do have one of the the uh, uncommon special Rotoms in my set as well, but I'm not really sure which one. Oh, nice. And my Hollow is a Luxray as well. Sweet. 
So there's definitely tons of goodies in this uh, in this set. All right, what a great start so far. Let's get right into the next pack. And I think any of the Rotoms that get pulled are like in the middle of the pack, so it kind of makes for a cool surprise. All right, Munchlax, uh, Quagsire, C Dot, uh, Shellos, West Sea. Uh, this looks like Valkner's Philosophy, but I'm not really sure. Uh, Celio, Steelix, a really cool looking Steelix, and a Psychic Energy. My first rare is a Nidoqueen. Queen. Second rare is another Wall Rain. You will see a lot of duplicates where there being two rares in every pack. And my Hollow is another Luxray, but definitely a cool double to be pulling. So I don't mind so much so long as I get close to completing the set. Yeah, so in these uh, in these 20 packs, you're going to be seeing 40 non-hollow rares. So it's pretty likely that I'm going to have uh, a few cards that are uh, multiple duplicates. All right, coughing, uh, Nidoran mail, um, Turtwig, I think, uh, Kakuna, another Valkner's philosophy. I hope I'm getting that one right. I'm going to call this the whole opening. Uh, this is Galactic's SP radar, maybe. I don't know, I looked at the set ahead of time and I have no familiarity with the English cards, so don't blame me if I get them wrong. Uh, Weezing and a regular Metal Energy. First rare of the pack is another Nitto Queen. Second rare of the pack is a... Crap, is this Piloswine or Mamoswine? I think it's Mamoswine? Yeah, let's call it Mamoswine. And my holo is a Jirachi holo, awesome. Definitely like this card. Cool. Yeah, so so far you guys are uh, were spot on by uh, by picking this uh, picking this booster box because there's definitely some great stuff in here. I'm certainly excited to open all of them, uh, but I want to bring you the content that you want to see first because you are my loyal viewers and subscribers. All right, Kecleon, Evie, Nidorino, a uh, Nidoran female. Another one of those um, metal energies for uh, for resistance or defense or something. Uh, Fortress. Uh, Team Galactic's technical machine, I think. And a regular metal energy. Rare number one is an excellent looking Vaporeon. Awesome. Rare number two is another Mammoth Swine. And my holo is a Frostlass holo. The uh, the effect actually complements the uh, the color shading of the card very nicely. Um, the blue and the white um, coupled with the hollow effect really uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. It kind of uh, it kind of brings you to the scene in the uh, in the card, if you know what I mean. There's a few um, there's a few cards out there probably in every set <clears throat> where you can actually look at it and imagine yourself actually being there. Except for the fact that of course Pokemon is not real. Um, but you can actually picture the location that is depicted in the card. I don't know, I think it's really nice. Alright, Carvana, Munchlax, uh, Sphiel, Shellos EC, Sharpedo, Aerodactyl, Tropius, and a Water Energy. I think that's my first water. First rare is another Mammoth Swine, so clearly they're hurting right now. Uh, second rare is an Agron. It's an interesting choice for art. It blends in nicely with the background. And a holo, nice, floats a level X. Very cool. Look at that. The the shine on the card is just ridiculous. If you had seen my Pulse of the Frontier booster box opening, you would have uh, seen it there as well. But wow, this card really just explodes out. Great use of the card. Awesome design. Oh, excellent. Really nice level X pull. I might not be a fan of Floatzel per se. Weasel and Floatzel, I was never really a fan of in the games, but the card is just amazing. So nice, got a level X. Really pleased to have pulled that. Got a couple more packs in there. I think this one plus either two or three more in this part. So sorry for running over so much. Our right, Carvana, Nuzleaf, Trepinch, First Star You. Uh, I think this is SP, yeah, this is SP energy. It's one energy, but it can provide any type of energy at one time. Kind of like a like a fully encompassing blend energy, I think. Machamp, Laron, and a grass energy. 
First rare is another Gastrodon EC. Second rare is an Amber Palm, so that's a new one. And my Hollow is another Frostlass. Nice. Sleeve you up. So what's everybody been up to lately? What you got going on in the uh, the Pokemon universe? Are you excited for Pokemon X and Y? I know I'm excited to see the new uh, sixth generation in the uh, in the card sets, but I'm not convinced yet that I'm going to be getting um, the games because I don't have a 3DS. Oh, sorry, Snorlax, Munchlax, Nidorino, uh, Shellos West Sea, um, Darkness Energy, and I think it um, deals extra damage and then damages your own Pokemon if it's not a dark type. Um, SP energy, Steelix, and a regular dark energy. And first rare is an Alakazam. Second rare is a Gastrodon West Sea. I don't know if I pulled this one yet. And my hollow is a Ramperdos hollow. That, is that pronounced right? A Ramperdos hollow? Ramperdos sounds better. But yeah, what's up with you guys with, um... With Gen 6, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking there's probably going to be two more sets of the uh, in the Black and White series. You know, Black and White 9 and then 10. Uh, because we have Mega Locanon coming in March and then probably some more stuff coming in July. But with the games coming in in October, I'm figuring either September or October they'll have some tie-in sets. So I'd love to see what they have coming there. Aeron, Growlithe, Nidorina, Weedle. Um... I don't know. <laughs> uh, Vognus Philosophy. This looks like Underground, like Expedition or something like that. And Grass Energy. Uh, first rare is another Nidoqueen. Queen. Second rare is another Gastrodon West Sea. And my Hollow is another Shiftry Hollow. So definitely been seeing some um, some duplicates here so far, but I'm hoping the uh, the rest of the box is able to spawn some uh, some new stuff for me. And here we go with the last pack of this part, and then I'll do a really quick recap. You know, we'll be opening the uh, the second half of the box tomorrow. Uh, well, uploading it tomorrow at least. Coughing, Staryu, Nidorina, Weedle. I always hesitate on that. Oh, nice! This is uh, this is Sharon's choice. Yeah, I think this is Sharon's choice. I was talking about how the Rotoms had uh, uncommon cards that kind of just jumped out in the middle of the pack. And this is one of them. That is awesome. Cool. I actually haven't seen this pulled before. I admittedly haven't watched a whole lot of uh, Bonds to the End of Time or certainly not any Rising Rivals uh, booster box openings. But that is really cool. Alright, uh, Darkness Energy, Wheezing, and an Electric or Lightning Energy. Rare number one is a Raichu. Nice art on that card. Rare number two is another Gastrodon EC. So, got a bunch of those as well. And my Hollow is another Jirachi Hollow. So, I was hurting a little bit on the, uh, on the, uh, Hollow duplicates so far. But, let's do a little recap to show all the awesome stuff that I was able to pull in this part. Alright, we have, uh, the Jirachi Hollow, the Sharon's Choice you just saw. Uh, Shiftry. Ramperdos, Frostlass, this excellent looking floats a level X. Another Frostlass, another Jirachi, uh, Luxray, another Luxray, Reprint Pikachu, and another Shiftry. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to see more stuff in the future because I will be opening Japanese booster boxes all year. And stay tuned for part two coming tomorrow.